Tower, Skyline 121, we're about to 2 mile right base for 20. 10121, Roger, on 120, clear land. Clear land, 2-0 for Skyline 121. Good seatbelts around doors are locked. All right, mine's good. What and uh, do you want to try doing the? Uh... Yeah, let's do that. All right, so we're on one two zero point seven, so it'll be Quad City approach. Quad City uh, approach, Skyline nine one one two one, holding short runway two one at Galesburg. Request VFR flight following to Bloomington. Okay. That's what cool. I would do. Cool. Or actually, clearance delivery. Sorry. Is it clearance delivery? Yep. Oh, okay. Quad City clearance delivery, Cessna nine one one two one. Maybe they can't hear us. As a remote comm outlet for it. November 91121, Quad City Clearance Delivery. Quad City Clearance Delivery, 91121. We're on the ground here at Galesburg, uh, just holding short of runway 21. We'd like to get VFR flight following to Bloomington, 3,500. Very good. That's uh, 91121, squawk 0316. 0316 for Cessna 121. Cool. And Cessna 121 report airborne, Mr. We'll go for Cessna 121. Cool. All right. All set? Yep. Okay, gonna go to map mode here. So we'll just do a standard takeoff. If we don't have 70%, or roughly, we'll call it 60, 60 knots or so by the intersecting runway, we'll port the takeoff. Good. Be looking for engines on takeoff, obviously. Probably head out just straight to the runway since we got a little traffic and then turn left on course. Yep. That oh, sounds good. Let's go through a lights camera action so we can get uh, strobe landing lights on. Yep. They're lit up. And then uh, camera, in this case, is actually a transponder. That's good. Yep. And uh, action, timer, everything's looking good. So. Yep, um, we're taking off 30, 230. So. Cool, perfect. Did a text chill, actually. I did do that. That might be the most important checklist. You do it right now. Here. I got the brakes. Thanks, man. It's not on the checklist. It should be. <laughs> Tell the wife where you're going. Right. right. Big bold. Right by, did you close your flight plane? I did not fly a flight plane for today. Oh, good. No, we're good. All right. I'm not sure where that. I don't either. I'm going to call real quick. Hillsburg traffic, Cessna 91121 is taking runway 21 for a uh, southbound departure. We'll be uh, heading towards Peoria for uh, Galesburg. Galesburg traffic, Cessna 121, departing runway 21, Galesburg. This was giving him a chance to call. Yeah. <laughs> sure it's cool. It's good. Alright, we are confirmed on 21. Make sure it's in. Alright, we got 21, 21, and 21. Alright, let's fly. Take off power here. I'd put that top of the green there. 23. Oh, yep. There you go. I was looking at my RPMs. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing, right? There you are. Now we're on the money. What happens when you don't fly enough? All right. Okay, we're good. Looking outside, that guy was to the east, but. Yeah. About 700 feet above the ground here, we can make our turn to the southeast. Sounds good. Galesburg helicopter, November 7th, 464, left face, runway 21. Galesburg. Yeah, All there's right. no factor. Yeah. Good. Probably go over these guys. Uh, I'd give one more call departing the area to the southeast and then switch. Sure. And Galesburg traffic, Cessna 121 is departing the area to the southeast. Galesburg.
We're still on Quad City Clearance then. Yep, yep. so, yep. And uh, Quad City Clearance, that's the 91121 with you, airborne. November 91121, Quad City Approach, item. I did, for 121. There you go. Getting a good climb. Yeah. 121 radar contact one mile south of Galesburg Airport, Quad City Altimeter 3000. 3000 for 121, thanks. All right. You also just uh, hit the direct two again? Yeah, we'll reset it. Huh? Reset it. There we are. It looks now like it's a 111. Yep. Peoria Poach, Cessna 91121 with you 3,500. Cessna 91121, Peoria Poach, Peoria Altimeter 3002. 3002 for 121. Level out here. But you can dip your, your nose every 500 to 1,000 feet and just make sure nothing's coming at you and yeah. then return it back to your VY or cruise climb, whichever you're into. Yeah, we don't need to find any geese today. Nope. So. <laughs> that would ruin the day. Yeah. It only needs to be one, Sully. Got the cameras rolling, it'd be a good story, but I'd prefer <laughs> not. I took off earlier and saw like three flocks of snow geese right over the top of the airport. Really? They're up a couple thousand feet. Wow. And then we were coming back into the pattern, and uh, probably about 200 feet below us, there's another, I don't know, probably 100. Wow. That'd be like hitting an artillery barrage. Oh, man. Toast. Hey guys, small town flyer here with my buddy Aaron and CFI. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, about 50 degrees outside the first warm day we've had in a long time. Uh, with that is bringing quite a bit of VFR traffic to the sky, including us, and uh, a bunch of migratory birds that we're trying to avoid as well. But today's mission is uh, brush up on some skills with this awesome CFI here, and uh, we're also going to pick up my wife Jill, who is uh, home in Bloomington. Um, so we're going to pick her up and then fly back to Galesburg and grab some dinner. So. Join us for an interesting flight. We're going to be flying over a Charlie here. We're on flight following and landing in a Delta uh, shortly. So welcome aboard. <laughs> yeah. as, as the $300 camera falls off the seat. Yeah. It's going to be smoother going back. We're going to be just on top of this haze layer, this inversion. And uh, I bet it smooths out. Yeah. Give Jill a smooth ride. We can take all the shots. <laughs> and Peoria approaches Bonanza 8367 Delta. And coming into the Delta, we'll just want. Bonanza 8367 Delta, Peoria approach. Obviously, call sign uh, altitude, altitude full stop. Change, altitude and distance. Out of class D airspace. Delta, squawk VFR, change to advisory frequency approved. Squawk and VFR, thanks sir, have a good day. So what are you thinking about starting your descent? Uh, you know, we're not high that high. Okay. Um, let's see, I mean, pattern altitude here is, it's 871 feet out, so we'll call it 1900. 1900, there. yeah. Okay. So. 121, 11 miles from Bloomington class Delta, contact Bloomington Tower on 124.6. Bloomington Tower on 124.6 for Skyline 121. I must have put it in wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was locked. I was confused for a sec, too. And we are. Uh, let's pick up ATIS first before we contact them. Sure. Bloomington Tower, Mission Yankee, 1956 Yankee. Wind variable at 6, visibility 10. Sky clear below 12,000. Temperature. Boop. Just go down. <laughs> they might be cutting a new ATIS. You might tell them they've got part of information, Yankee. Yeah. Bloomington Tower, Skyline 91121 is about uh, 16 miles to the uh, northwest, 3,500 inbound, full stop. And uh, call 
Colin Bliss and Tara say again, sorry, I was in the process of cutting the new Aegis. <laughs> hey, no worries, this is Skylane Niner 1121, uh, 3,515 uh, to the northwest, inbound full stop. And we got part of Yankee, but it sounds like you were cutting it, that's why we didn't get the rest, so. Over 911-112, Bloomington Tower, roger, continue inbound, information Zulu is current. Report when you are seven miles to the northwest of Bloomington. Bloomington Elkins, there's tree 004, wind 180 at six. Okay, we'll pick up Zulu and we'll report seven miles to the northwest uh, for Skyline 121. And I believe it to Tower Skyline 121 has Zulu. Citizen 121, Roger, thank you, sir. And we're coming up on seven. Should have waited. Uh, expect runway 20. And what's your position? About 10 miles now? Yeah, we'll expect 20. We're uh, exactly 10 miles for 121. Over 121, Roger, continue. Report a two mile right base for runway 20. Okay, two mile right base for runway 20 for Skyline 121. So we just want to probably head. Yep, about right. I'm assuming, will we have to announce the two-mile base, or will he'll... Yeah, we need to announce the uh, okay. that we're on a two-mile right base. I would probably... So this is measuring the airport center. The airport okay. reference point at the center of the airport. So we're probably there, huh? Yeah, we're probably pretty close. And Blue Tower, Skyline 121, we're about a two-mile right base for 2-0. Tesla 121, Roger, on 120, clear to land. Clear to land, 2-0 for Skyline 121. That is runway 2-0. Yep. Confirmed. Full hand. That's high, but that's okay. We'll land like the Jets. There we go. Jill at the FBO and headed back to Galesburg. Aaron gave me a lot of great pointers on the way over and also got to work a lot of good radio skills. Stay tuned for more flying videos and content to come soon. If you haven't, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.